Let me just start by saying it's really unfortunate that with everything happening in this country, uh, with the fact that we basically have a dictator in charge of running this country, and we have our speaker, Nancy Pelosi, working day and night to try and fight against the challenges that we have with the White House. She has spent her entire career working for this city and working for this country. It's unfortunate that, you know, this conversation has kind of blown up in the way that it has and distracted us from the real issue. The fact is we don't have good, solid federal leadership that is helping to facilitate this COVID response. And over 180,000 Americans have died as a result of this virus. And had we had what we needed from day one from this federal administration, then we would probably not be in a, as bad a situation as we are. Our focus should be on making sure that we as a city are providing also good information. I know that there's been a lot of confusion with our small businesses and their operations and whether or not they can operate indoors and outdoors. And so we as a city and the confusion between the local information and the state information, we have to take responsibility of doing a better job around communication. So we could either focus and blaming and saying who should do what, but we have bigger issues as it relates to this country. And I have a tremendous amount of respect and appreciation for the hard work that Nancy Pelosi does every single day to take care of the city and this country. And that's what we should be focused on because we are dealing with very challenging times and leadership does matter. I do understand that the industry is suffering, not only the hair industry, but the nail salons, the masseuse, like we haven't been able to allow those businesses to open. So I, I, I empathize and I understand the frustration and that some businesses may never even open again. And this is hard for everyone. The decisions that we are making around public health have everything to do with trying to keep people safe. And unfortunately, the economy and people's livelihoods sadly have suffered. So I empathize with that, but I do think it's important that we focus on the bigger issue and that is getting back to making sure people are doing their part to wear masks and to stay safe and to stay healthy. And the city will do our very best to do a better job around our communication with our small businesses throughout San Francisco as we begin our reopening efforts.